So what we've been doing starting in uh, September of 2019 is contending for who's going to rule. And really, that's what our nation is in right now. Who's going to rule? Who's going to rule? Uh, uh, How is the world going to be ruled? How are we going to be ruled? What kingdom will we really be a part of? Now, you need to say out loud, I know what kingdom I'm of. (laughs) But in the midst of that, nations are in the valley of decision. And that is throwing us into a conflict worldwide. Uh, I was asked, are we in World War, uh, is World War III coming? World War III is surrounding the globe. You don't need to get bogged over one incident that somebody's going to drop a nuclear bomb on us because it's not going to matter if it, to you if they do. If they drop it on you, you got, might as well not worry about that. I remember in the fourth grade telling my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Higginbotham, when she would make us get under the, we had to do those things, you know, where you had to get under your chair in case we got a nuclear attack. And I said, how, I remember asking her, how is this chair going to save me from that? (laughs) I, I have never been a real goofy kid, you know where you just believed, if I get under this chair, I'll be safe from that nuclear bomb. No, I've I've never had that. John, uh, I do want to go back to what you said, John. I told Amber and Daniel on the way up here, I said, the one person I knew I was to travel the world with was John Price because I knew he was not afraid to kill somebody that would try to kill me. That was our exact conversation. (laughs) I said, and you know, I have to have that in my life. (laughs) Because it's not always roses out here. And I always knew John, and John, you know, he, he, he wore this badge thing where he would just take us to the front of the line and tell everybody he was security for this famous person. And you know, it's amazing. They never did ask. They just let us go. (laughs) And because he would always wear this black outfit and he was big and he was tough looking. And I I, I loved going all over the world because we were in some big, bad, tough places. So now with that, what we have to know right now is we are either moving and each one of us personally now. You're moving toward a new prosperity. Are there curses manifesting all around you? We're on the move, but it's going one way or the other right now. And you need to say, I I, I know which way I'm going in that too. Uh, Because we have to know that prosperity means you're taking a step on your path. And this is really what the word means, to find the baskets that have already been placed there along your path so you can pick those baskets up and keep going. Prosperity doesn't mean we all going to have millions of dollars that we've got to stroll around. It just means you're getting to the place that God has for you. And if you'll follow him, he's already got your baskets on the path. Ooh, somebody needs to give in to that. I'm telling you. Now, Trenton and Philadelphia and the 13 colonies are very, very key. They are key to the realignment of this nation. Now, this isn't a new message of mine. I remember the first time I ever shared it was in a Baptist church north of Boston in Portland. And believe it or not, they agreed. Now, I think anybody that knows history in America knows that this is key for America's total revitalization. That we're going to have to see these areas 
change, change, <laughs> Siri's feeling the anointing here. Uh, Amber, do something with this. I mean, she's just going off. And, and she was going off saying, emergency SOS, did you fall? Did you fall? Now, I'm telling you, something is going on here. <laughs> but the Spirit of God's here. I am, I, am, I am not worried about what the enemy's trying to do because the Lord is too present in this place right now. Now, now, with that, I see that he brought us here for a threefold cord to, and now that he said it, to begin again. And, it, and I saw these, this threefold cord made up of these three things as I was seeking the Lord this afternoon. Remnant, government, and harvest. He said, I brought you to these places for these two meetings to realign the remnant, the government of this nation, and the harvest ahead. Now, you're going to have to do the homework and all of that, but I do know this, the two places we're going uh, today, uh, to, uh, we're here at this place and then Philadelphia tomorrow, they were both capitals of the U.S. And because of that, he is saying, government must be realigned. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to get us out of this two-party system thinking craziness that we have in America. And he's going to say, I have got to realign the government because this 10 years is about who rules. <laughs> 